Okay, and a question about immigration. Does the president still have confidence that the vice president can get to the bottom of root causes of migration? He absolutely does, and, uh, and is grateful for her work in doing exactly that. Why? Why does he have confidence? Or should I, should I give you well, an update so on a couple the of the things we've done? What, what gives the president confidence uh, when he sees that March 2022 has 28 percent more migrant encounters at the border than March 2021 when she got this assignment. Well, you asked me about root causes, right? So let me address that first and what the vice president and other members of the administration who have been working with her have been doing. So we've been working with source and transit com uh, countries in the region to facilitate the quick return of individuals who previously resided in those countries, as well as to stem migration in its state. Some of that is uh, getting agreements with partner countries on mig migration related matters. And that's something that the vice president has been deeply engaged with. I'd also note that Secretary Mayorkas, who of course has worked with her on this, traveled to Costa Rica recently where he joined uh, the president uh, of Costa Rica in announcing a bilateral migration agreement outlining our shared commitment to both manage migrant flows as well as promote economic growth in the region. And we also are maintaining a close partnership between the government of Mexico and the United States to send irregular migration. So there, what addressing root causes means is working with countries in the region to take steps to uh, to have partnership, be able to have people sent back uh, to the region as needed. And